today, we don't have a lot of green space left. And so what we're finding is that cities are looking at leftover or unused or aging industrial infrastructure as opportunities to build new parks. Rails Trails Conservancy is an organization that's dedicated to transforming unused rail corridors into multi-use paths for walking and bicycling. That work takes us to communities large and small, working with community groups as well as state and regional agencies, and as well as advocating at the federal government level. At the turn of the century, this country had uh, upwards of 280,000 miles of active rail connected all over the country. It was the largest active rail system in the world at that time. With the advent of trucking and the competition with the railroads, there were thousands of miles of railroad corridor abandoned around this country. A lot of trails that are put on abandoned or unused rail corridors are simpler to build because you already have a lot of the infrastructure there. You have the tunnels, you have the bridges, and you also kind of have this flat surface. Our rail trails are really linear parks. They're very long and very thin, but in fact they are a park. What our trails do is give you an uninterrupted place to go where the pedestrian is king, basically. Cars aren't king and the driveways aren't king. Pedestrians are king. I often say the only thing linear about trail development is the trail itself. Everything else is sort of a complexity of people and politics. It really is a matter of the people saying that it's their will that these things get built. So if you want to see more of these facilities, then you should contact the people who are in charge for making this happen and tell them, please build places where I can walk. It's not a very hard process. The first thing you could do would be go to our website at railstrails.org and we have a trail building toolbox up there that gives you all of the basics that you need in terms of how to start. And then after you've dealt with the most basic questions, you can call up our staff and we would be glad to walk people through the process. People all around the country are clamoring for these kinds of facilities and we see notable growth in uh, the amount that people are walking and biking and so it's really taking off and that makes it very exciting because you can be part of providing people something that they really want and that makes their communities better, makes, uh, makes them healthier. When we started our work 25 years ago, much of our work uh, was in rural areas. We are now working in the center of cities across America to ensure that everyone has access, that there really is trails for all. Since there is so much success on the ground, we're looking at connecting it to other types of trails, to green space, to parks, to downtown business centers, to transit hubs, to schools, to everything, so that you have an interconnected linked system that is for non-motorized travel. And that's how we're sort of reconstructing communities around the country. And it is a movement. People are becoming more aware that these are out there and more aware that they need them. And what a better time to reconnect with your family or friends than to do it while walking outside.